The Geco M20s are an interesting speaker. I can personally say I've never seen a design quite like this. I'm sure there are similar ones out there, or at least the idea of a splitting speaker, but again, I just haven't seen one. For the full price of $48.99 Canadian, I don't know if I would pay that much for these. Although the current price on Amazon is $31.99 makes them definitely more worthwhile. With the different options for RGB and the fact that they are Bluetooth, you can't really go wrong with the current sale price. Now, how do they sound? Honestly, knowing the price, they do get loud, but they lack any sort of real bass. I would say at full volume, they were uncomfortably loud at four feet away, even to the point where I was worried about the highs of the songs being too loud for my dog's ears. So yes, they do get plenty loud for me. The definition does seem to be lacking slightly in the mids and obviously the lows. Um, that would be like just the instruments and stuff kind of blending together a little bit. Um, my hearing is not the best though. They've been through some stuff. Typically I find, as a lot of people do, but worse so in my case, uh, I cannot hear moderate to low volume conversation in TV shows and movies, nor in person. Now this is typically not at the fault of the user, but of the design or the way the audio is processed. I can hear movies and TV shows correctly when it's presented in the correct format. I take great pride in my various audio setups in the home, each tuned to their own environment and for their specific use case. So knowing that my a bit more about my kind of battered ears and knowing they're not the best judge of sound, I can say that they don't sound overly muddy, but they don't sound full either, mostly from the lack of bass. It just leaves a little bit to be desired when listening to music with bass heavy tones. Unfortunately, I don't have a dedicated decibel meter or anything like that to measure the sound levels accurately, but we'll give a listen just kind of through what I can do here. Now, moving over to the standout feature, being able to split the speaker into two. It does give amazing audio separation and stereo panning. This can help when listening to songs that do have stereo in mind and take advantage of doing the panning. Children of the Grave by Black Sabbath, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits, Ramble On by Led Zeppelin, Riders on the Storm by The Doors, Space Odyssey by David Bowie, or Eminence Front by The Who. I truly could go on. Listening to these songs on here are pretty good in my opinion, save for the lack of bass, but honestly, it has a nice sound stage when you're listening to music, if you have them separated. You get a nice little center stage action from the stereo effect, so the vocals come in clear from the center, and then you'll hear the uh, the instruments kind of come in from the side a bit, and it's it truly is a very nice experience. I much prefer listening to the music that way as opposed to the uh, soundbar mode. Um, so it also makes it versatile though obviously having that soundbar mode so what my wife does with them is she'll bring them into the bathroom on her shelf uh, and when she's in the tub she'll just put them up on the shelf and use it as like a boom box basically or she'll have them split uh, when using it at her desk and then she can use it on her laptop plug it in with usb so she uh, she is kind of like the target audience for these honestly and she does get more use out of them than i do um, now for my specific use case with them, I have none. Clearly it is a bit of a non-starter for the Ally or the Steam Deck because I can't see too many situations where you would use just them alone with the device. I would expect it to be hooked up to a monitor or something and use it as if it was in a desktop like PC, right? So again, you have the versatility of which configuration you prefer for your setup. In my opinion, the speakers on the Ally are pretty fantastic for their use case. As such, I wouldn't see the need to make the external speakers any louder than they currently are, nor need to plug in a USB even to use them. Which brings me to the cons. Bluetooth is heavily delayed, especially when using in a gaming scenario. Now, neither Steam Deck or the Ally have a USB-A input, and just a 3.5mm auxiliary jack, which these speakers do not support. I would assume with them being so large and having no battery either for unplugged use, it wouldn't be too hard or too expensive to fit in an auxiliary input on these speakers. That's a huge miss in my opinion. The RGB is also of the price. You get basic options with nothing much else. Some will flash, some will change color slowly, but unfortunately there doesn't appear to be any audio sync option either, which I think 
again, I mean, for the price, who knows how difficult or cost <laughs> costly it is. I, I have no idea, but it would have been nice to have like some audio matched RGB at least. Reviews on the device are generally very favorable, with a 4.3 average on Amazon.ca out of 1,000 global reviews. Most of the complaints range from the cheapness of them, and I can vouch for the plastic and the weight of them are not the greatest, as well as some audiophiles expecting some amazing things here. The other chief complaint is the one-touch knob. It acts as an infinite rotary dial, independent from the device volume when plugged in with USB. Some people don't seem to understand how to use it, but others say it has not worked for them entirely. A lot of the complaints regarding the button are not being able to turn off the speakers, which I haven't been able to replicate. All you have to do is just hold off the button and it will shut off. I've tried this in Bluetooth mode and when I was plugged into a computer. Uh, maybe if it's in an overpowered USB port, it might still supply a bit of power and the RGB lights might go. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a fairly decently reviewed speaker set. I mean, and again, for the price, like people seem to love the sound of the speakers and I can admit they are pretty darn great. Like it's... For external speakers, I've had some like ones from Canada Computers or whatever. Uh, it's like a, an electronics store up in Canada. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, like Micro Center basically. Um, but yeah, so like I've had like their house brand type speakers before, and they've been like thirty to forty bucks, and those are pretty craptastic in my opinion. Um, but these ones are actually pretty darn good, I think. Like it, it's for the again for the price. Like I'm not expecting amazing things here. The, ba the there's no base. There's <laughs> barely any base. Um, but being able to split it and have that stereo separation for like a desktop mode or having the uh, the soundbar mode for like a bit of a boombox. Like if you're having some people over, like it would be good for just like low volume music or whatever. You can Bluetooth to it and everything. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but to wrap things up, there isn't really too much else I can say about them. They aren't suitable for any of my applications as I use headphones at my desktop and use the speakers on my Ally and Steam Deck. So if you have a small space and just want some fancy looking speakers that sound pretty decent, you can't really go wrong with these for the current price. I would recommend that you use Camel 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 to track the price history on Amazon to see if they've jacked it up before any price cuts or anything like that. Um, and it's good to see just the price history um, to get a good idea what a good sale price is. Um, I cannot emphasize enough though, the plus of having true stereo separation on here. And then again, just sitting at my desk, listening to music, hearing the vocal come through the center stage and having the instruments kind of bleed in from the sides, truly is a fantastic stereo experience. If there's one thing I can recommend for the viewer is not to be afraid to try different speakers and setups. Use and abuse Amazon's return policy because at the end of the day, none of the reviews nor I can tell you how it will sound to you in your setup. If you think you might have a use case for these speakers though, let me know what it might look like. Clearly I'm not the target audience for the device, but they'll live happily with my wife's setup and her laptop in her bathroom. As always, I hope you all have a great day.